Tim Denton. I will be brief. Good afternoon. The Aran region, as you probably know, covers North America and certain islands of the Caribbean. But that's not why I'm here today. Uh, I want to talk about the work of our organization, which is broadly consistent with what is going on in other organizations, other RIRs. First is to promote awareness of the V6 transition. Second is to continue to support multi-stakeholder governance and policy development, which features multi-stakeholder governance. Operationally within the organization, we continue to seek improvement in how we do business, in how we treat our customers, and the utility of our websites and information programs. We focus on software improvements and customer improvements that help the customer, that are suggested by the community, that have impact, and we try to improve our services based on feedback from customers. Inevitably, we are faced the same problems as every other RIR in relation to V4. Demand remains high. There is obviously a complete decrease in the amount of IPv4 available. We see an increase of resource hijacking and fraudulent activities related to transfers. Um, the problem of stale information is um, particularly important. V6 remains steady. The graph is self this graph is self-explanatory, and uh, transfer requirement, transfer requests are shown in red. They're obviously preponderant at the moment. Our educational and training mission is extremely important to the management and board of Aaron. We maintain as much as possible a vast source of materials on education, instructions, and we also engage in in-person training through something called Aaron on the Road, where we take, uh, go around places in North America and the Caribbean. We have Nanog on the Road, and, and we will educate anybody at any time about anything related to V4, V6, internet governance, and the business of Aaron. So the service level is high, and it is an important function to make sure that people are satisfied with what they get and that they're able to get what they need out of our service departments. Community outreach and engagement remains essential. It's what we do. It's how we do business. It's what we are. We work closely with industry groups such as NANOG, the Internet Society, and others to educate and empower our communities. In particular, we do our best to collaborate with Caribbean organizations to maximize their inclusion into the process, both through outreach to organizations and through our fellowship programs to bring Caribbean people into the workings of Aaron meetings. Internet governance, fortunately, will not go away. It's what we do, it's what we are doing today, and we are all participating in it. We seek to foster collaboration between public and private entities, and Aaron acts as an informational resource in internet governance forums. We, obviously, we participate in regional internet governance, and Aaron supports and acts in Canada, the Caribbean, and US regional internet governance forums. Um, service. We have recently undertaken a review and improvement of our uh, Aaron Online. The, we have redesigned points of contacts, nets, and org identification pages in January, validation enhancement of points of contact in January, improved model for voting contacts, and web accessibility improvements, which are ongoing. The uh, Who is Quick Guide has been 
uh, is available and improved, and there's various pages uh, devoted to the help of law enforcement agencies. We maintain a flowchart that describes the process of transfers in detail, and anyone who is interested, I propose you have a look at it at your own convenience and time. Um, we are particularly concerned about fraud, and we have dedicated staff devoted to making sure as much as possible that it doesn't occur. This is the chart, which is self-evident, about the relative number of ISP members who have both IPv4 and IPv6. While I think v6 deployment remains below what we might all like it to be, it is increasingly used, and the facts show that that is true. I'm not going to go into the policy proposals in any detail. You will be able to find them on the um, LACNIC website. Um, indeed, the slow adaptation to transfers and the necessary rules to control transfers are community-based, and the policy moves with people's ideas of what should be done. It's a democratic, bottom-up organization, and we respond to what our users want. I just want to bring your attention that there's going to be meetings in San Diego in October and Miami next year in April. And I thank you for your attention, and have a good day. Bye-bye.